here comes. Yeah, you know, we don't go looking for big browns, we really go looking for adventure. It's a chance to explore and see what's around that next bend. but that never stopped us, eh? Yeah, I'm coming down to what probably where we came in. You know how that goes. <laughs> or not. When we're in a trout stream, we're absolutely fixated with what's there. There's nothing we enjoy more than sneaking up behind brown trout with our camera. Oh, oh, the tail. Oh, got it. They're right here. And an eel. You can't make this shit up. Brown trout are a unique animal, but they're extremely consistent in why they are where they are, doing what they're doing. It doesn't matter where you fish for browns, no specific river or stream. The largest browns any given water holds will almost always be in similar niches and often easy to find. Everyone thinks that a drag-free drift is what's needed. That's not always true. A brown trout's world is in constant motion, even the tiniest of mayflies.
Browns certainly aren't fussy eaters. They're opportunists and they don't always get it right. Oh, nice cast. We've long wanted to share our chapter on influencing the take. We examine the concept of using traits, tendencies, and key features of brown trout to our advantage. Understanding these things allows anglers to influence how to find and successfully catch the best browns in a stream, and how a brown will react to our approach and presentation. Here he comes, Dave. Here he comes. You got him. No, 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 no. Don't do it, fish. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. It's amazing how different seasons affect brown trout. We've learned that browns can be really predictable, where they'll be and why. Yep. Once you find yeah. active fish, the results can get silly. Here it comes. Yeah. Blitzing, blitzing to it. Oh, I take it. Here it comes, here it comes. Do that again. You're kidding me. Yeah, that's You've got to be kidding me. Heavy pressure. And there's another one there, and there's another one just up top. <laughs> it rise right there. No way. Which way is it going, though? They're just on, aren't they? In here, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to flip this guy. Really? Okay. And is that one? Yeah, Keep we're going, going for the other one. Yeah. Right up here. Yeah, right I'm just turning, and I see him there. there. He's just coming right towards us. Right yeah, yeah, go Got for it. it. Go for him. Yep. And up. And set. Wow. Wow. Now that's fishing. That's fishing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've literally had about, uh, I think, eight fish now. First cast. And, and out anytime here. you want to let him go. Oh, that's a summer day in New Zealand, eh? Absolutely. Awesome. No question. Testing fate here. I have a tendency to engage the hardest fish in the hardest spots possible, yeah, here he comes. with the focus getting into position without spooking the brown. I yep. usually don't know how I'll land it if I hook it. I just love getting as close as possible. I won't land every fish, but getting so engaged, so close, so intimate is incredible. For me, I have to search and wait for moments of unpredictability. And when I find impossible, intimate moments with an unpredictable ending, I feel completely engaged. You do it. You got him. Oh, Jaffe. 
In chasing browns all these years, there may be a dozen perfect magical days a season. They're hard to come by, but when you get them as a couple, with a camera in your hand, the magic seeps into every area of your lives. Over time, you build confidence and knowledge. Okay. On those random perfect yeah. days, a natural freedom flows. Spotting a rising brown, knowing how the moment will unfold. Ballsy. Oh, yeah. Keep them coming. They got a log there. It's in these carefree moments when you feel connected to the stream, to each other. Wow, that was a blast. Did I tell you that's where it rose? Yes. Yeah, Did I tell you that was the perfect cast? Oh man, that was sweet. Yeah, you can say I'm excited. Oh, what a fish.